Okay, now we need the concept of an error bound, which is to say that the value you find out by using the trapezium rule is not going to be exact because the trapeziums don't quite match the curve. Okay, so you're going to be out by amount, and <coughs> the amount that you're out by depends effectively on two things. One is the number of strips that you take. The more strips you take, the better it's going to be. So n is the number of strips. So n squared on the bottom line, big n, small error. And the other thing that it depends on is the steepness of the curve. If you have a very, very steep curve, which changes a whole lot all over the place, and then you have quite wide intervals, you can see that you could miss out by quite a lot. You could end up with all sorts of odd answers. Okay, so lots of sudden changes will make this method less accurate than if it's a nice smooth curve. And that basically is what this second derivative here does. Okay, so second derivative is a measure of how quickly the curve is um, is changing, or how much how quickly the slope is changing, really. So how much it's changing from being up to being down, and how fast that's happening. So the bigger that is, is going to give you the the worst case scenario. Okay, so to work out the error bound, we need to know what the second derivative of the function is, and we need to know what the n value is and what the two um, limits are. And the key thing here is that the f of second derivative we're going to put into the formula is the largest value it can take in the range. And really the way to do all of this stuff is to use a spreadsheet. Uh, so what I'm going to do is um, the next video has got a video of uh, a spreadsheet which is used to um, calculate all this. So on that spreadsheet we're going to need this piece of information, so h and the various function values to work out the actual value of the integral. And then we're going to need to know and the n value and the second derivative to work out the error bound. So um, the next video will have a look at a spreadsheet for doing this and then I'll come back and do another video which covers the actual calculations here and shows you what's going on.